Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Capital. There was a press conference out here at the Michigan Assembly Plant. They're going to start building this, the Ford Ranger. Yeah, later this year. At times, I think it's been called the Michigan Truck Plant. Here, no foreign vehicles allowed. Sign, signs everywhere. Sign, that one you must obey. Here's Michigan Avenue. So the plant is located in the city of Wayne. And they have Dynapro tires. Yeah, it's a sharp looking truck. Years ago, I had a Ford Ranger, but it was kind of the compact version. This is more of, uh, or it's considered like a mid-size truck. That's the rear end. But yeah, this is on display as you drive down Michigan Avenue. But here was where the press conference was. They were taking down the tents and so forth. They had media passes and employees were able to take a test drive. So, uh, what was it? Uh, October 29th, I believe, the workers reported for work. It'll take a while to get the assembly line up and running at full speed. They had the test track here, so they put uh, a hill and, uh, anyways, off-road rides. I would have loved to have taken one. But anyways, that's coming down the pike. Here, the sunrise. I'm going to Florida, and this is a nice view here. Oh yeah, good old Michigan beneath the wings. Yeah, it was nice to see a sunrise. It was great that it worked out that I had the window seat. Here we have nuclear power plants. That's something certainly to be concerned about. Okay, now a little closer to my destination. This is actually Florida, just past the Everglades coming in. And look at how these developments, this is like urban planning from like 10 or 15,000 feet maybe at this point. Maybe, yeah, probably a little less. And, uh, yeah, we're getting ready for, oh, there's the evil twin of the plane. Oh, yeah, successful landing. I always like to see that. But yeah, it was 47 in Detroit and then updated uh, 82. So there was a little temperature difference there. Here, Florida has a tunnel, their only tunnel. And it goes under uh, the New River, I think it's called. And so there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, hopefully everybody voted. That would be cool. All right. City of Pompano Beach. Okay, made it to my parents' place, their condo. And so here's an update. They're doing the fishing pier, and they're putting in a new one. So the old pier is the lower level one. They got to rip that out. This is the new pier. It sits up a little higher. It's wider, and uh, it's going to be a tourist attraction. And here is my first look at the beach house, but it's completed now. Or I should say the completed beach house. It's now open. I've seen it before, but it was under construction. Right next door, they're hard at work at the Oceanic. It's going to be another restaurant, and they're going to specialize in seafood. Go figure. And then they got like a shark parking deck. And back behind there is Fort Lauderdale. So that's where I landed. Pompano Beach is where we're at over here. And uh, calm ocean on this. And it was like a full moon night. Um, I'll have to, maybe I'll show the date here. Yeah. Close, like within, I think, 12 hours of a full moon. 
So there's the beach house lit up at night. And it's a great view. I love this. You know, you can uh, watch the world go by kind of thing. And people that have like a nice porch, you can do the same thing with that. But this is like a balcony overlooking everything. You can even see the police in action. I think there were people watch, walking the beach illegally. They kind of shut her, shut her down like I think at 11 and you're not supposed to be on the beach. But yeah, that looks pretty round to me. The full of the moon. And then you can hear the surf and everything. It's nice. It's like cops live, but it's tape delayed. Okay, then I went to bed. Let's see. Had a nice sleep. Okay, this is October 25th. So, and it's a little overcast. This is a Thursday. Yeah, they're doing something out there. I'm not quite sure what. But it's nice. Uh, you see the crane there. The pier action. It's not going to be done till springtime of 2019 or so. So they're taking some time. Florida's warmest welcome. All right. Well, my dad suggested the water taxi. And that is, as it would kind of imply, a taxi on the water. But they weren't open this particular day. Um, it's off season, so this did not work. But, but we came back the next day, Friday, and we did it. Uh, later in the year, they have a holiday boat parade on the intercoastal, and it's quite the, the thing to see. Uh, my dad and I decided we'd have one of these fancy drinks. And then lizards, like these are so ultimately cool. I saw like four of them See, behind the fire station and they're, uh, they're good at crawling up trees. And look at the, the coloration. And like they don't have squirrels down there. It's like they, they have these lizards <laughs> instead. <laughs> they're quite common. I saw a few of them and it was like, wow, those are so cool. Like, people around here keep them as pets and stuff, but there they just run around naturally. Well, a little more sun action, so a few more people on the beach. So the view is great, yeah. I kept staring out the window. It was like a magnet, you know, every now and then. Well, what's happening out there, you know? So different times of the day, different things are happening, so... Uh, a room with a view kind of a deal. Here, uh, they still do the metal detecting kind of thing, so they have a couple volleyball nets set up, and people make use of those. And then they have a lot of cool boats, and we'll see some later in the show, but this one's going up the intercoastal here, and it's just like uh, to live that life. That'd be sweet. You always wonder, you know, how the other half live. In, in southern Florida, along the Gold Coast, you can really see how the other half live. <laughs> it's a nice life. And so this is, I, I'm doing a lot of this. We'll, I'll get into a, a mix of different things, but I certainly have the balcony shots. Uh, here... Uh, some local vegetation. Okay, October 26th. This was a Friday. And, yeah, look at this, baby. 
Oh, yeah. Tinted windows. You got to pay extra for that. Okay, so here's the deal. We're waiting on the water taxi. Here it is. We're going to come on board, and it's front loading kind of a deal. Doesn't saddle up sideways. <laughs> but anyways, my dad and myself, we're, we're on. And, um, yeah, so you get to see a lot of nice homes and a lot of nice boats and people doing all number of things like fishing. Uh, we had a guy that kind of explained some of the homes. Uh, a lot of them are owned by uh, wealthy people, as you might imagine. Uh, along the intercoastal, the, the homes are a million plus, and I'm sure they go a lot higher. And then in the channel ways, they could go from 600000 on up, a little cheaper. But, uh, yeah, you'd have to talk to your real estate agent and uh, figure all that out. But, uh, yeah, you, you're going to have to break the piggy bank. Scuba time three. So, yeah, not just fishing. You can do the scuba thing. Uh, yeah. They have so many opportunities. Diving, snorkeling, glass bottom. Yeah. The possibilities are endless. And, and that's why uh, Southern Florida certainly is, is the big attraction. Yep. Uh, this is the most our life. came out this this week, I'm not sure if they're going to be also a Griffiths boat going on with that one. They're new to the area. Okay, there's an inlet here that you can turn from the intercoastal and then this will take you to the ocean. And so we're heading north at this point there was, I was looking at the map there for a spell, and they got a cool lighthouse, and Detroit had some uh, deal in building that lighthouse. They had a placard that described all that, and it was kind of fascinating. And when you have a big boat, they, they got the drawbridge, so they can uh, lift that puppy up. And yeah, you could have your home built out here. They're still building, in fact, a lot of they had a recession and a big downturn, but they've come back since. Uh, here, uh, quite the palace there. All around the house, and all the games all the for the whole game, we played it. We have a full on 24 foot waterfall right there into the pump tree. And the house is behind their chips. There's also a family all the way down, it's called the JD Moran family. Uh, Dan Moran, I'm sorry. So he actually started uh, doing kind of a bunch of car dealerships, but he was the one that started bringing Lexus over to the United States. A lot of these bolts have multiple motors, you know. I think we're used to having one motor in the back, one outboard. <laughs> it's common to have three and four. It's just amazing. All right, we're going to make a stop here at the Lighthouse Point Marina, and we're going to have lunch at the Naughty Dog, and it's all good. Yeah, it's the Marina Cafe. There's my dad. He's a Michigan fan. Yeah, go blue. Definitely, they're having a great year. This was on the specials. And nice thing for the, for the dogs there. Here's the lunch menu. And explain their showers and so forth. They're on Facebook. So they, they have the burgers. I got the galley burger. No, it was, yeah, the galley burger. And then on the back side, they have other things. And look at this. Who's hungry? So if you bring your dog, they have a menu <laughs> designed for man's best friend. <laughs> Tell your dog to bring his, cre or bring 
his or her credit card. My lord. Uh, sangria. My dad had wine. Here we go. I had it with onion rings. And uh, then we had to wait for the water taxi to make it loop around. They have uh, just two boats. So when one's at the north end, the other one's at the south. So it takes a while to do the cycle. But after lunch, we did get back on board. Uh, they're doing some uh, construction. Ooh, it was coming up on Halloween. This scared the bejeebers out of me. And, well, the vegetation's always different. I mean, we might have that here in Michigan, but a lot of these places are uh, nicely landscaped. They have... Uh, good homeland security here even them or the homeland security they have four motors and look at th this one another quartet a lot of nice boats and a lot of little controls there price per gallon what do you think 419 gallons though 136 plus whoa the sale 575 dollars to uh, fill that boat i don't know how big it was i don't think it was that boat but um yikes yeah mortgage the house to pay that one off right or take a payday loan then they had bait fish so they had different tubs a lot of fishing goes on, definitely. That's a big thing, charter a charter boat or go on one of those fishing tours. Here are Taxi, the Island Girl. This is the other boat in the water taxi, so we're going to go back southerly, back on the water taxi, head back home. Look at this house with the nice sliding panels. Just open them up. Sit there in the sofa and watch everything. You know, the action along the intercoastal is great, too. There's boats constantly going back and forth. Never a dull moment. And then I think these were on the quarter hour and the three-quarter hour that the drawbridge comes up. And then the next, uh, at commercial, a little further south, they would do it on the hour and the half hour kind of thing. So if you got a big boat, you have to realize that sometimes you're going to have to wait for the drawbridge. But that was like a party boat there. And uh, watching the drawbridge in action, they got some good like shock absorbers there or kind of piston action thing. Got to watch for the manatees. Infrastructure that works. Yes. And there were some smaller fishing boats and so forth. They have all the sizes and the like. Okay, again, I'm looking. Every day they kind of did a little work. So I'm thinking, you know, as far as taking down the old pier, so the crane is going to pick up old pieces swinging around, and then they haul off the, the old one and dispose of it properly, I'm sure. But... Um, they were working slowly on the fishing pier, so here another look at the, uh, the beach action. And another good night's sleep for sure. Then they had some advertising up in the sky, but he was well out there. I had trouble, should have been a little closer to the beach. Even with the zoom, I didn't get that. Okay, so this is Saturday. And finally, I'm catching the beach groomer. This is like watching the Zamboni go around like when you go to a, a hockey game. It's like mesmerizing, you know. But it's kind of the same principle here, but you're on a, on a beach. And you can see if they missed a spot or something. But it kind of catches the seaweed and the, the debris and it does the grooming and all that. 
and it makes it pretty for all the beach goers. Here are the cruise ships. Now they, they run out a lot on Saturday and Sunday and usually like between four and six. This is what my parents say and they're spot on because, well, these are freighters here. They're waiting to get into the port to get unloaded or whatever. But the cruise ships, yeah, they're fun to watch. I only got one. Okay, another good night's sleep. Oh, more grooming action. They do this like every day. I think seven days a week. They don't, they don't, uh, they just don't get time off. They must have a crew where they kind of get relief every now, now and then. This is something I think like I would enjoy doing. I could see this. I don't know if it's full time or not, but if it's part time, that would probably be perfect. It would force me to get up early in the morning and then, um, yeah, look at this, even the little curve. Watch. Oh yeah. It's like he's done this before. Yeah, I had to curve around the uh, the lifeguard station but a lot of people get up early too and uh, will do their thing on the beach so this was uh, yeah 834 in the morning so this was early on Sunday morning the weekends certainly are more active beach days it's not High season, that will happen like around Thanksgiving. That's a well-known church. And boy, at night it's lit up and there's some beautiful stained glass. I wish I would have gotten a picture of that church. It's well-known. Here, um, a little yacht, you know, really plowing through the water, throwing up a little spray. Oh yeah, lifestyles of the rich and famous. Maybe in another lifetime. Meantime, I can get by on a common man's wages, you know. And occasionally I do get out of town, which is nice. And I think everybody, it says somewhere, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Oh, I'm all over all three of those things. So, well, they pop up those tents and whatnot. You can rent those things. So those are nice, uh, especially if you don't, you want to just relax and maybe not worry about getting over tanned, like burned. I've had that happen to me before. Oh, my mom told me about this. My uh, mom said, hey, you got to check this out. And I'm glad she, uh, she said this. It looks almost like Michigan a little bit right there. But guess, look, it's a guitar. It's under construction, this big guitar. But when it's all said and done, it's going to be like a condo. I'll show the sign here. Oh, how cool. So the Seminole Tribe of Florida, it's the um, Hard Rock Cafe. And... Uh, casino but wow how cool to have a building shaped like a guitar okay the headliner modern luxury suites and private villas award-winning dining I don't know the neck of the guitar doesn't go all the way uh, it'd be neat if they made it totally like a guitar but even make it like a transmission tower at the top to complete the neck or a telecommunications tower. This is uh, from the parking garage, and you can see it's under construction. This is the kind of stuff where I'm a, like a little kid. I'd love to videotape as this kind of construction takes place. But this was on a Sunday, so there were just a few people working, but certainly not uh, a full crew. But wow, 
that's going to attract some attention when this is all said and done. You'll hear about it, I'd be willing to bet, but just because it's cool. And there'll probably be architects that will design other cool structures uh, in the future. It just seems like it should be successful. So this is like the lay of the land. It might be a hotel on the bottom and some mixed-use development or some shops and the like. Look at the side, how it kind of bows out a little bit. And uh, I'm not sure if it's a certain guitar shape per se, but uh, yeah, I was impressed. You know, you see something like this, and it's, yeah, build something like this in, in Detroit. Here, there's one worker way up top. There's another one. Yet another person. So there's a few people working here on a Sunday. There's quite a bit of construction going on. In, okay, coming 2019. Next year. All right. Continuing on to uh, keep us game. And uh, my mom told me about keep us game. Never been. So it's like, okay, I want to check this out. Um, you take a bridge, but before we got on the bridge, you have a nice view of Miami from a little bit out in the water. And so I'm fascinated with some of the architecture uh, in Miami. And it's a vibrant city. It, <laughs> yeah, Miami's got a, a good scene, good culture. Trevor Noah from Comedy Central was in Miami uh, this week and did his show and uh, what was it? it was a couple days after Monday through Friday but uh, he was fascinated with Miami there's a lot happening here's the port of Miami you can see all the cranes there to unload and we saw the the cruise ships dot here's the bridge you have to take Somebody's flying a drone here. Bridges are nice architectural feats to be sure. It was like $2 toll to go across, I think is what it was. And it was windy today. You see the palm trees and they're I don't know how many people get hit in the head with a coconut. It probably doesn't feel too good, but yeah. Don't stand under a palm tree when it's windy. And there's coconut. This is like, must be the old bridge. We got a kind of similar arrangement with the Ambassador Bridge, but it's kind of in the reverse. They built the first section to go across to maybe to replace the Ambassador Bridge, but it got truncated, so it's like the bridge to nowhere. But we'll see what Matty Maroon does. Okay, so you go all the way through Key Biscayne, and then there's a, a state park, Bill Baggs Cape Florida State Park. These map quest on having that on cell phone is awesome. It is really cool. A lot of people fishing, so little fishies down there. And then uh, Lighthouse, and we, here we got another one. And this one was um, redone. I mean, I was thinking, gosh, that looks awesome. It's in great condition. Uh, let it shine. So they spent some money. It was constructed in December of 18... Well, you can speed read here. You can read faster than I can say it. Um, but... Yeah, you always get history and so forth, but it's a well-done lighthouse, restored, uh, top-notch. They have a window on the side, which is cool. And I think maybe at times you can um, maybe walk to the top. I'm not sure how that works. I've never seen these before, but like electric unicycles. Here they were doing some photography work.
They're coming. Where? Right, right behind here. Oh yeah, these unicycle people again. <laughs> yeah, there's a first time for everything. I don't know if they'll... Uh, they're kind of like a, a Segway, but with only one wheel. Here, well, the design. So you could take the stairs up. I think you could do it, but you just got to be there at the right time. So it got real weathered, but look at this. Well, here's the, here's the history, whether you, you want it or not. Here it is. So 1996 restored. Okay, so the cruise ships are starting to leave the Port of Miami. There's two big ports, uh, Port of Miami and Fort Lauderdale Port, and they both deal with cruise ships. And I think there's even a, another one up by Cape Canaveral Way. And some cruise ships head out of there, but these are the big two. And uh, that's a nice size ship. Cruise liner. So yeah, between four and six, I think, is the time frame. They go out like every half hour or thereabouts. Some people, I think, uh, parasailing. There was it was a quite the, the breezy day to be sure. And while well, they have the warning sign here, it, it was low hazard, calm conditions, but exercise caution. These trees are awesome. They're mammon trees, but palm trees here. But um, my mom. Well, here's another cruise ship. We were in search at this point to find out where they have the tennis tournament. They used to call it the Virginia Slims Tennis Tournament. It's been since renamed and so forth, but they have a nice tennis center. And they have a nice aquarium, but we did not get here early enough to go inside to check all this out. But from afar, I could see the plink pink flamingos it kind of is like the miami vice kind of a thing okay well they gave um, a lady told me hey well this is how you get to this tennis center it wasn't that easy but they had an entrance and so this is the main facility where uh like serena williams and the like um rafael nadal and all the, the top-notch players would have a tournament in the spring. So this is a nice facility, and I couldn't believe we could get into the main stadium. Now, on the side, they have plenty of these auxiliary courts, so the other matches leading up to the quarters and semis and finals would be played at some of these other courts. And they set up stands, sometimes little smaller stands. But my mom, for years, had come and watched uh, tennis tournaments here, Crandon Park Tennis Center. And so I told my mom, I says, there's people playing on the main court. You got to check this out. And they paid $18 to play for an hour. You don't have to be a pro or anything like that. There's Serena. Oh, his name escapes me. <laughs> He's good, though. Um, but look at the, uh, the court. And my mom's sitting in the umpire's chair. I don't know what she was thinking. Like she's going to start calling balls in and out for these people. They're just playing for fun. But, yeah. They argued the calls. My mom said, no, my call is final. But um, <laughs> it was kind of neat. But uh, yeah, I don't know if like you could play with your friends and then have your, your buddies come and <laughs> bring a little cooler and you could sit in the stands. <laughs> They have a few cold ones and watch your friends play and have a, a little party, but it, it just seemed weird. 
you know, how cool would this be? So I don't know where you, who you have to contact, but, um, yeah, for 18 bucks an hour, it would seem kind of worth it. Play where the pros play. It's not like they're going to let you go into Wimbledon and play, so you have to go to one of these other lesser tournaments. But the Virginia Slims had a pretty good series. And you have a nice view up top on the upper level. Look at the view you get up here at the city of Miami. And then you turn around and you can look right in on the tennis court. Yeah. I used to play tennis as a kid. It was a fun game to play. So I would get a, a, get a kick. That was out. I don't know if my mom called it or not, but... They had sweets here, and behind the bench, the court crew and the like. These people were real cool. They offered my mom to play, and she didn't want to school them or nothing, so she said no. I don't want to embarrass y'all, but she had a, a game in the younger day. Here, though, um, this... I had no idea what this was, but there was a lot of graffiti action. So I wanted to take a look-see, and some of the graffiti is, is very well done. Artists keep it alive, and that's so true. So, and then uh, we got a shark here. It's kind of like the shark tank we're, we're heading into, because you walk up, and there's like a, a little channel here little inlet and it's like a beautiful view of the city and I asked some people on the outside I said what was this place it's like abandoned now what was this and they said well they put a stage out there and it'd be like a floating stage and they'd have concerts how cool would that be but you know it didn't fly obviously my mom's down there waiting on me um, but the artist, yeah, they painted up the chairs, like different colors. They really got into it. Uh, the sun is going to set pretty soon. But yeah, I was, I was digging this. This is like urban ruins, but you don't see much of this like in Miami. Things can kind of get repurposed quickly. The real estate is, is quite pricey, so if something doesn't work out, there were some other urban explorers uh, in here. But yeah, if something doesn't work out, they fit, reinvent, repurpose, whatever. They might be able to do something with this. I don't know, but it was uh, quite the, the stage setup. A little bit of a liability. You walk down the inner part. Oh, there's my evil twin. But yeah. It's right here by the water, and say if they were serving alcohol, it would be not so much of a stretch to see, like, people fall in or whatnot. But trying to look at some of the, uh, there was a lot of well-done graffiti action, but I only had a few minutes. Uh, we were wanting to have dinner marine stadium uh, that's what i got at google marine stadium and like wikipedia or whatnot would probably give the history but look at nice architecture i love the design there as i do like a lot of, this is oh there's great architecture in Miami. i can't even call the buildings quick enough all right lincoln road is a place where they have shops. Hey, they even have a Michigan Avenue. And my Lord, they even have Beach Bunny attire. And um, a, a Nike shop, an Apple shop. And look how busy the Apple shop is. These things are popular. M -M, meat market, go figure. Well, we stopped at a Argentina restaurant i had filet mignon boy i was living large and i had my vegetables and i had my sugary drink and that was the grill maya grill then music yeah that was south miami beach all right 
Whew, it was an exciting day. Okay, the next day, this was uh, Monday, October 29th. Yes. This place was advertised in the paper. It's in this uh, Wynwood, the neighborhood Wynwood. And uh, they say everything's for sale. My mom said, well, how much for these plants? Or this particular plant? And they said, well, that's not for sale. <laughs> so, but the idea is technically everything is supposed to be for sale. So if you walk in here and you like something, uh, you're supposed to ask how much it is. And I guess you can barter. But that's a neat concept, though. That looks like Homer. But they have some uh, old school motorcycles, some interesting artwork, um, couches, seating things. Yeah, I would imagine all the seating. I didn't see price tags, though, so it's like, we'll put a price on it, then you know if you're interested. This is a paper straw, and that was like an energy drink. Well, here was the article. It's the newest coffee house, Selena Brawlers, and Andy Warhol Artworks. You can speed read. So we were here just on opening day, but just before they closed. So this was the way it was on their opening day. So... is known for the murals and so forth. And these guys got on board just a little bit before like Eastern Market was doing their thing. And Eastern Market, I don't know if it's gonna take a second fiddle or it's on par with some of the things that are happening here. They have, it might be more ex extensive in Wynwood, but uh, Eastern Market is expanding its mural collection, and it's just fascinating. This guy's in Detroit also. Um, but it's a good photo op. Certainly a lot of people walk around and take in their pictures and whatnot. And, and it attracts tourists for sure. And so I think Detroit did well by whether this was an inspiration for them or not, but we certainly have some good artwork. And not just Eastern Market, but going up Grand River. That guy looks familiar. But uh, yeah, some girl power, yes, and go out and vote. Everybody go out and vote, but uh, women are running for political office and stuff, and that's a nice trend. Uh, that needs certainly to continue. But yeah, there's a lot to see <laughs> and do. They even have uh, neon. And I think they cycle. You know, it might be here for a little bit. And then they change it up a little bit. God, doll robots. Yeah, that'll be the new hot trend for for kids not not just a regular doll anymore it'll be a robot doll this one i particularly like it's it's well done whimsical puts a smile on your face yeah that's that's in a buick with the top down, that's how they do. So this is, I, what is it, 2nd Avenue. Democrats, get off your, what is that? A donkey? Oh, fruits of our labor. And then from afar, yeah, art is everywhere. And certainly in Wynwood, it's like on each and every block, each and every um, corner. And if you can bring people in, 
and so forth. People uh, get ideas. They spend a little time. They spend a little money. They start thinking about the possibilities. And then people move in. And things become vibrant again. So this neighborhood was certainly challenged a few years back, but the artwork brought people back in, and there's new businesses popping up. Here, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, but he's taking pictures, and she looks hot in her pink thing posing on a car. And, well, you see that certainly a lot, you know, various times, but that's, uh, that's nice. It's uh, trying to get a nice camera shot or, and so forth you got a nice car nice building nice girl you combine everything what's not to like then there's cranes all over the place so there's just um, new construction it, it tailed off for a while but it's back now American Airlines Arena this is where the Miami Heat play and my mom and I who are those guys Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, we'll get back to that. Bayside Mall. My mom said, hey, we need to check this out. I think it's Banyan Tree, but look at this thing. Do not climb. I wanted to climb so, so bad, and then I saw that sign. Damn. But look, they have like a walk of fame. And we could do that in Detroit. There's no reason we couldn't have a Detroit-based Walk of Fame. Figure out where to do it, where to put it up. Kevin Hart. They had at least a dozen, maybe even more. Ice Cube. Bayside Banyan Tree. There you go. It's a ficus. Go figure. You can live approximately a thousand years. Yikes. And international. Look at this. Countries from all around the world. Yeah. These guys. Is that the... Where? Look, and then you can... Parrots, so you can get your pictures with parrots. Home of the rich and famous. Okay, this is going to the port facility, so they have a bridge, but they have a nice marina out here. Then we'll see this in action. They're just setting up now, but they'll have some music a little bit later. Hurricanes, so if you want to go fast, there's a boat to do that. All number of different style boats inside here. And then a huge hard rock cafe. And we'll see the Intercontinental, I believe, is a five-star hotel. But when it gets dark, it's neat. We'll see some dancing girls perform on the side of the building. That's like must-see TV. Here's a big... I think some of these are like charter boats, so you can do the dinner cruise or go out and dance and party. This guy, well, they got a statue for him, but maybe it'll come a day where they say, well, you know, he dreamed greatly, sure, he dared courageously, but, yeah, he didn't treat a lot of the native people too well. That kind of gets people upset, and rightly so. Uh, here are the, the train drawbridge. It's going down, so I'm telling my mom, there's a train. It's the train's coming. She goes, where's it going to go? Well... It's going to go, like, to the port facility. That's just the engine. Later on in the evening, we were walking to go to the Miami Heat game, and we got stuck by the train. I think that very engine pulled a whole line of freight cars, and we were late for the game. We kind of missed a good portion of the first quarter. There he is. That, I know it. Donald Trump. Oh, my gosh. And he's all smiles. And who's that guy with him? Is that his good buddy from uh, North Korea? Here, charter fishing boats. So that's like the master chair there. You can have like four fishing rods. I would like it up top here. You can control the boat from way up there. 
Uh, they have like a drinking thing. Even well, they got a water taxi in Miami too. They got one in Fort Lauderdale, and the one that we had it in Pompano Beach area. But look at American Airlines. It's they got the lights on. Game starts at seven thirty. So this is like a, I think the water building, but the architecture is just fabulous on this building. Probably, I think it's like the oldest building. Could be wrong. Look at all the the boats. And then this is kind of a neat little top. It's got a nice colored top to the building. Here, dancing girls. Oh, I should add this is for mature audiences only. Don't you be getting any ideas. There's a Citibank building. I have a city double card. I like it because you get 2% back. One when you buy and one when you pay. It's on everything. But yeah, nice buildings and certainly the complexion of the buildings uh, change when the lights come on. So this is a, a good time to be uh, checking that. Uh, the Miami airport is just west of here a little bit. They have a Holiday Inn. Here we go, Bayside. And then for the youngsters, they even have amusement rides. Yeehaw! Look, Mom. Oh, they're not, they don't have their hands in the air. But, okay, some music. <laughs> I think he had to pay 10 bucks to have a picture with the Donald, but yeah, he's really hard up for money if he has to go that route. All right. Tuesday, October 30th, Halloween Eve. Went with the parents to Las Olas Boulevard. Here we'll check out some real estate for a cool, if I can get that in focus, 3.849 million. Here, 529,000. Gives you an idea of what your money will get. There's something for everyone, especially if you have a big, fat bank account. You're a nice Ferrari. And we ended up having lunch here. That's well uh, decorated. Nice artistic scene. Here we go. The official brochure. And uh, well done motorcycle one of the custom job videos here's inside this mexican restaurant and being that it was a tuesday they had taco tuesday tacos were for two bucks there's my mom dad el camino 
And here's all Las Solas. The whole uh, with number eight is where we're at. But it's a nice, and then the, the river tunnel goes under here. And then further down, it's kind of their cultural area. Here they have kind of like a little alley to get back to the parking, but they had an artist do up the wall here, and it's all well done. Urbanpopsoul.com. So the Mexican thing, they like the, um, the skeleton thing. <laughs> but, yeah, interesting artwork, and uh, it catches your eye. Oh, the Ferrari is moving on the move. Even the backside is well done with artwork. And we had a great lunch. So I had three tacos at two bucks, and that was six bucks. And I think the mixed drink I had was like 12. So cheers. My dad even got a little um, clothespin. There were three tacos. I got three different ones. And then this hot sauce really, so the water came in handy too. But um, yeah, yum, yum. But the place was reasonably priced, so how can you go wrong? So there were a lot of people in there, and that's what you need. Uh, you see the construction. There were cranes all over, uh, plenty of shops, and it's right before Halloween, so the pumpkins were out. Uh, they have nice flowers. Uh, another crane. If you got room for dessert, they had that. Some beautiful condos, to be sure. Hey, the detour. I like to take that when I'm back home. Look at all the traffic coming out of the river tunnel. And working, a, being a crane operator, that would be a cool job, too. Okay, the new river tunnel. This gives you a little history. Dedicated December of 1960. Wow. I was like six months old. Whew. I'm older than the tunnel. All right, the Cheesecake Factory. And International. Again. And you see that when you're in Miami. There's a wealth of diversity, certainly, in the city. And they have the South American influence, to be sure. It's like the gateway from... South America and Central America, a lot comes through Miami. The music, the, the food, you know, the art, everything, it, you know, it has its own flair, to be sure. So it's nice to, uh, to see that. Here, luxury from the 800,000s goes up 499 feet. Yeah. Live the island life. All right, well, now it's time to go home. So this is from the airport looking at downtown Fort Lauderdale. Uh, you know, carry-on fills up and all that, so I had to check my bag. So later on, my bag went into the belly. But I flew Delta, and they're always good. It used to be Spirit Airlines, but, man, I soured on, on their thing. Anyways, arrived nice home got the nice bound thing going here beautiful terminal and then they always have like a monster plane here like it's the ones that go to the orient here if you don't know what that means that's luggage claim so if you got to brush up on your chinese you are here so they have nice maps. Yeah, so I had to go to the baggage, baggage claim. But it wasn't too bad. You'll want to experience everything. Yes, indeed. Detroit has a good scene now. And it looks like it was a training session for uh, pause or whatnot. And then we got a tunnel here. It goes under the runway. Cool. Folks, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great week or weekend, whatever the case may be. And um, just close out here. Everybody's got a favorite tree at, at, or flower or something at their house. Here, uh, Dare the Bear is guarding uh, the house. But uh, the leaves are falling, and this is the way it was on Halloween. 
And God, good leaves already on the ground. Got to rake those up. Good night.